has really shown that we need to uh, build a stronger uh, defense. Backing Ukraine in the war, Europe faces a growing challenge to arm itself. Because of Russia's war of aggression in Ukraine, I believe EU member states will really need to uh, increase uh, their dis defense expenditures and uh, refill our stocks. We have delivered many weaponry and uh, ammunition to Ukraine to support them in their defense. Now the best way forward in such a situation is to bring EU member states together to jointly refill their stockpile. Take it from an MEP who's a former head of Estonia's defense forces. We have been living on the peace dividend, but there's war, but there's war in Europe. Uh, and uh, it is not just a wake up call. So we need to start to spend on defense, period. The EU has an action plan to replenish those weapons and a longer-term plan called EDIRPA, European Defense Industry Reinforcement Through Common Procurement Act. With more weapons, more ammunition, we will be able to better protect our society and our freedoms. And for the EPP, we believe that EDIRPA is the first important step to make us stronger together. Joint procurement is the key, and it's still elusive in the European Union. And we are fighting for European-wide procurements because this will make things faster and cheaper for citizens and for member states alike. Member states have individualized every airplane, individualized every helicopter, individualized everything, getting too expensive. And in the end, as we see at the moment, we don't have anything. And therefore, we have to go for common procurement. If we cooperate, if we do things together, if we produce things together and if we buy things together, it will be cheaper for every of the countries. If European countries spend more on defence, have better defence capabilities, it is always better for NATO and not bad for NATO. What about EU countries buying defence hardware from third countries, like Germany buying US F-35 fighter jets? That is, of course, another result of our insufficient defence spending. And uh, that is why uh, currently uh, we do not have the time uh, that our industry can develop uh, the full potential. And therefore, uh, for the time being, we also need uh, in some parts to buy out of Europe. So what if EU countries don't spend more together? There is a, a big risk that we will see longer delivery times, higher prices, and perhaps also disproportionately disadvantage some member states if we don't do more together uh, and cooperate through joint procurement. Building Europe's defense is also about jobs and research. European institutions and governments need to work together with academia and uh, industry to make the products which are able to compete on the international defence market. Before I was elected as a member of the European Parliament, I served as a deputy mayor in Linköping, which is the, uh, the home of uh, Sweden's biggest defence and aerospace company, Saab. And I've seen firsthand uh, how important this industry is to uh, attract uh, skills and talents and really benefit our society as a whole.